We have more team coverage. Laura Steele is live with the people who broadcast the race live on the radio. We are on floor nine. That is command central for not only the Indy 500, but the Brickyard 400. And we are joined by, well, Mark Jaynes, who, of course, is with the IMS Radio Network. You've got your part of the show this weekend, but we've also got the gents in from not only Dallas, but Charlotte, Brett McMillan, Brad Gilley. Let's start with you. You are not anchoring. Doug Rice is actually the anchor for this on radio. Where will you be, Mark Jaynes? Uh, I'll be down in turn one. And uh, this is uh, an event, obviously, that we look very much forward to because um, over the years, we've worked several events with these guys here. Uh, a lot of them with PRN have worked with us on IndyCar shows. You know, Doug Rice did the double a couple of years ago, worked pit road for the 500, then went down and anchored the race at Charlotte. And he happened to have Juan Pablo Montoya's pit, right? No, Who's pit? Helios. He had Elio's. Helios. Yeah. yeah, he had Elio's pit that year. Juan Pablo Montoya. No, he had the winner. Oh, he was in the winner's yeah. pit, yeah. Well, I thought he was here to cover Elio, but you guys might be right. I don't know. The, the, the two years have I think passed. He was, but radio yeah. people, wait a minute. Radio people <laughs> arguing is not good on TV. I'm going to tell you right now. But you're right in your mind. Whatever the case is, radio. This is what's so amazing to me. You have to paint a picture. TV, we have pictures. That's yeah. crazy. You, Brett McMillan, are in in the pits. Right. And, and I and I love the pits because you know right now in NASCAR it's so difficult to pass that what happens in the pits really makes the determination of who's going to be winning the race or have the best shot at winning the race. Okay, Brad Gilley, tell me, it's hot in Texas, and that's where you're from. It's hot here, too. It's hot and humid in Texas, but Indiana takes it to a whole different level with humidity. But it's not bad. I mean, we expect it to be hot when we come here. And, you know, there's a lot of water, Powerade, all that stuff down there on the... Uh, so you hydrate through it just like the drivers. Absolutely. You have to. And yeah. we, we, we want you to be safe tomorrow. Uh, favorite memories at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Do you have one quickly? Uh, probably the first year Tony Stewart won. He won the race and climbed the wall. Okay. Climbed the fence. And yeah. then this, this is just a legendary place what are your thoughts when you drive into this speedway yeah honestly every time I come in here it feels like the first time I came in here I've been such a fan of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway since I was a little kid every time I drive through the tunnel I have that same feeling like the first time I came in here and it's awesome goosebumps as one of our friends Bob Jenkins would say he yeah. still gets goosebumps mm -hmm. and so we'll listen for your amazing voice Thank you. and Brett McMillan yeah. as well as Brad Gilley and anchored by Doug Rice the okay. IMS radio network teaming up with the NASCAR PRN guys here for the weekend at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway from the Pagoda on floor nine we're gonna get back to bantering and fight you know radio people we just talk <laughs> talk 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 I'll Drew. just agree with you Ended. Okay, we, we we're just we're just going to get back to talking because we okay. see we're all talking at once. Drew, <laughs> we are here live at IMS. <laughs> Thanks, Laura. I'll get back to TV.